Hello, my name's Joe Miller, and since becoming the Prof's first in-house consultant a little over two years ago, I've won three industry awards for supporting over 100 students from 30 different countries in winning places at Britain's best universities. In this video, I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to master your application for Oxford's E&M programme. We at the Profs pride ourselves on having a 55% success rate in supporting students with um, their applications to Oxford. Given that Oxford's E&M programme has just a 5% acceptance rate, it is officially the most competitive course at Oxford University. It is absolutely important that you master your personal statement. Therefore, my first tip for you is that your personal statement is critical. When it comes to writing your personal statement, you must do several things. One of which is you must create a unique identity. This must be rooted in the academic literature, but it must be something that you can substantiate. There is no use in you telling me that you're interested in a certain concept or theory if you've not explored it. So go out of your way, enter essay competitions, complete research projects, attend public lectures, as well as, of course, read books, and show off this identity. A quick tip on writing the personal statement, you must treat the professor as if they were, or they are, omniscient. That means that you must assume they know everything about your course. There is no point defining subject matter or summarizing a book or telling me what a certain lecture involved. Instead, I want you to tell me in the first person what your interest in it was. That's what will get you an interview at Oxford. Bear in mind, only 18% of candidates are interviewed for this course, which means your personal statement must stand out if you are to move on to the next stage of the process. My second quick tip for you in applying for Oxford's e and programme is that your peers at school are your greatest rivals. With, with almost two thirds of Oxford candidates now securing three A stars or more, it is absolutely vital that you are going above and beyond to stand out. Moreover, the fact now that 68% of Oxford's students are from state schools means that just going to a great school which provides good supercritter activities for you is simply not enough. You need to go above and beyond in your own time to stand out. This could be things like entering an essay competition and hopefully winning, this could also be attending public lectures in person. It could even be reaching out to a PhD student and asking to shadow them on their research. These are just three of the things that I've organized for my clients in the past year, helping them to successfully win a place at, on this prestigious course. My third and final tip, whilst it sounds like a cliche, is to keep it real. Having spoken to my old professor at Oxford when she was in the process of interviewing candidates and reading personal statements, one of the things that stood out to me is that she said so many students try to sound cleverer than they are. They use big words, they throw in complex theories, and the professors simply aren't interested. So my test for you is, you should be able to put your personal statement in the hands of anybody, a close friend, a parent or guardian that might not understand the subject, or a teacher at school. And you should be able to ask them two things. One, what is my intellectual curiosity? Do you know from reading this personal statement the topic I'm most interested in? And two, what are the real skills that I want to gain from studying this course at university? Having studied at Oxford myself, I'm fully aware of how rigorous and somewhat stressful this application process can be. Ultimately, these three quick tips are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the offering the profs have for students like you. Therefore, if you would like to maximize your chances on winning a place at Oxford, please do not hesitate to reach out to us 
at either the uh, email address um, in the link below or via phone. Please also make sure that you make the most of our free personal statement advice that is also accessible via the link below. Good luck.